So Hop Odysseys is taking you to breweries of the Gap and Cedo trails. We're now at mile marker zero at the confluence of rivers in Pittsburgh and off we go down to Washington, D.C. So here we go, enjoy your ride with us. Welcome to Hop Odysseys, where we're traveling around looking for breweries that make great beer, but also make a great contribution to their communities. So hop on for a beer I've never had in a place I've never been with a friend I haven't met yet. Hey, you might want to check number close. There you go. Yeah, finally, I kept it close enough. And here we are crossing the Hot Metal Bridge. Pittsburgh off to our right. Destination off to our left. So Brew Gentleman in Braddock is just a couple miles off the trail. Um, takes a little bit of work to get here, but check if they're open. They got a great story and great people working here. A little bit of a hairy ride through four o'clock traffic uh, getting down here, but here I am. So like I said, I battled traffic dead here. I probably should have ridden, uh, read a website a little bit better, they're closed without a tap room, but I knocked on the door and Elena, one of the founders here, saw me and she gave me a four pack. Elena, tell me about your place here. Yeah, well, welcome to Braddock. We're glad you're here. Sounds like quite an adventure. Um, Braddock's a really special place. It's deeply historic. Um, we've been here for about seven years as a brewery and you can see General Braddock's in the background there and here it's our flagship beer. Soft and balanced American IPA. It's a beer we're really proud of and one we want to share with the world. So, Elena, when I picked up my can, I noticed, boy, it has a different feel. Tell me about it and tell me about why and the story behind it. Yeah, um, I love that you say that it had a different feel. Uh, one of my favorite quotes is that business is all about how you make people feel. Um, so, that's special. Uh, but yeah, this is General Braddock's. It's our flagship. It's a soft and balanced American IPA. Um, it's the beer we're most proud of. Um, it is the epitome of our brewing philosophy. So all of our beers are soft and balanced, but this beer we've refined batch after batch, year after year. Um, and we really believe that it can be Pittsburgh's IPA. That's our goal. Um, we want there to be a beer that Pittsburgh is proud of and that Pittsburghers love. Whether they live in Pittsburgh or they live in New York or they live on the West Coast, this is the beer that they can always come back to. Well, I just drank mine in the parking lot and I sure loved it. If I were to find this in a store, what would I pay for this four pack that's a 12 ounce can? Yeah, so at the brewery, um, they're $10 a four pack and we try to keep all of our pricing really moderate in stores as well um, and work with our distributors in long-term partnerships. Um, and the purpose of that is, uh, I mean, we, just, we think it should be affordable and accessible. Um, good beer shouldn't cost you an arm and a leg. So they actually had to shut down their tap room for COVID, but when things are going, they're doing some great things for this community here. Tell us what you're doing. Yeah, our tap room has been closed uh, since lockdown, but we're still here seven days a week. Uh, we operate curbside pickups, and then for the summer, we're doing a beer garden downtown called the Allegheny Overlook. We anticipate reopening here in the fall again and welcoming people back to Braddock. Um, but one of the main ways that we uh, work with the community is through the Braddock Library. We're really proud of that relationship. Um, I serve on the board and they've just been a great connection to our neighbors, um, to know the day in and day out lives of the people that live here in Braddock, um, as well as just appreciating the history of that building and the legacy of learning. 